hostiles. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Searching through Google Earth Pro in Antarctica, there are a lot of things that I find that I mark as curious, but not video worthy. I try to find something each day that is clearly defined and then try to work something around it that supports it. Like yesterday, of course, it was the, the Cyclops, and they were wall builders, and I showed evidence around of buildings. In this video, I'd like to show some of the more ambiguous finds, but also show you something that is probably the most unmistakable image I've ever uncovered. And I was going to wait a couple of weeks, and get a 4K, a really nice upgraded 4K computer, upgrade the camera, and film it in 4K, have it be resolved in 4K, and upload it as well to YouTube in 4K so that people could have the absolute most perfect image of it they could possibly have. I thought better of that. I thought, you know what? I better get this out now. I've been hanging on to it for about a week, and you just never know what a day is going to bring. So I thought I would lead off with it. And I'm going to warn you, it's uh, it's going to be a little bit disturbing because I've shown it to a couple other people and those people have even shown it to um, kids. And, you know, they said, what do you see there? And every kid has come up with pretty much the same answer without even a hesitation. So here we go. Now I have not, and you cannot, no one can, do anything to affect Google Earth Pro. You can't Photoshop it, you can't enhance it in any way. And even if someone were to try to fake some kind of an image and then put it up and then do a YouTube video about it, it would immediately get shot down by all of the 
thousands and thousands of users out there that have their own copies of Google Earth Pro that would say, see, this is not really here. This person, you know, monkeyed with the image. But I think hopefully by now everyone has seen it. This is clearly the image and not an ambiguous one of a woman's face. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, which I haven't shown it to anyone yet who hasn't seen it immediately. You can see the mouth right here. You can even see the teeth. This woman is wearing some particular shade of lipstick. You can see the nose. You can even see the shading around the nose. You can see a partial of, I guess to us it would be the left eye, but it would be the woman's right eye. The face, it's, it's unmistakable. Now, I have no earthly explanation for this. I don't know how, uh, it, this could even be pareidolia, because pareidolia is taking shapes that are, you know, not, that are natural, and then seeing images, this is not that. This has color, this has texture, this has the perfect proportions. I don't know how anyone could possibly see this and not see a human face. An actual modern Caucasian female with makeup on human face. And this is eye altitude 326 feet at elevation 103 feet imagery date 315 2004 now we can speculate all day long about who the woman is in the image but I've looked through a few photos and there's another channel out there that I work with and they know who it is and I know who it is and I'm not gonna say until a certain point in the future when I know that uh, certain assurances can be made that if I say it I won't lose my channel but it's uh, beyond doubt and like I said in and like I have said I should say down in the description I will give you the coordinates I will give you the date I will even tell you what aspect to look at we're looking at this facing north and you can download your own version of Google Earth Pro. I know there are people out there that watch my channel on 65-inch 4K TVs. Wait until you see it. Because we have one here. And I've seen it. And it's even better. I mean, it's not even close to ambiguous what this is. And who this is. When you get it up on a big screen, there won't be any doubt. Now, I, like I said, I don't know what it means or why this image is here. Whether this was some kind of a joke uh, or... Because, you know, above here, you see this, this blacked out area? This has to be some kind of redacting that somebody just left this like this just so they could say, see, you know, we did have the image up here, this... Um, if it's a joke, I hope it's a joke. I mean, I hope it's um, something where people were just mucking around with the data and this isn't a real image, meaning that the camera caught something that actually does exist on the surface of Antarctica. Because if it did, then this would mean something totally different. It would make everything else I have to show you kind of boring, to be very honest. Um, there's different things, and I guess with about three minutes, four minutes left here, I'll show you a couple other things. I mean, nothing quite like this. Um, but one of the things that I would like to show, and this gives me an opportunity just to ask if you really believe what I'm seeing is just pareidolia is just can you explain this image I 
I mean, really, can you explain this right here, this image, from wind, ice, rock, and snow? I, it's clearly some type of artwork or something else, but I, I have never seen wind, ice, rock, and snow ever do things like this in my life. And I'll, you know, zoom out. It's in one of these, what I have called, they're clearly caves that go in underneath the ice. And there's somewhat of a canopy over it. This would have had to have been created by an intelligence. I don't know how anyone could ever possibly acknowledge or not acknowledge that fact. And there was even another article out today about how they found this image on Mars that makes them believe that 3.5 billion years ago, there was a place that had water that might have supported, really? We have this on our planet, <laughs> literally at the South Pole in Antarctica. And you're worried about a, another planet and what might have been there three and a half, three and a half billion years ago. It's just, Mind-boggling. If we would put even half the effort into this continent, given, even based on the imagery that's available to the public, there should be a much larger public effort down there to uncover things. And speaking of canopy, same region. Now, guys, I've seen a lot of setups for different events. You know, tell me that you're telling me this canopy cover here with this figure on top, that that's some type of natural formation. This was clearly created. There's another platform up here. There's clear, clearly areas that go into the side of the ice of the mountain right here. There's another platform up here. And you can see the shadow. So you know that I'm looking at this, right? This isn't a, a trick of perspective. Oh, here's the area that's out of the direct sunlight. It's symmetric. And there is something up here in the top center that would make you believe that it has some type of importance to it. And there's things, and this is a whole nother area. This clearly looks like a very large animal laying on the ice. Right here. It's very different than everything around it. You can even see the side of fin here. I'm not sure which end is which on this one, but it would seem by the angle of this fin that this would be perhaps the front and this the back. And it's 200 feet long, so it's a big animal, whatever it is, but it's definitely not a rock. It's uh not snow, it's not ice. There's a, let's see, there was one other thing, and I've shown this before, what humans look like when there's shadow being cast. And clearly on this platform here, there's, now, this is, you know, 25 foot image. So six, seven foot tall being casting that shadow. And you even can see um, what you would expect in the sense that if they're bipedal, meaning two feet, they walk around, you know, the way the platforms connect one to the other, the way the ramps are, 
that they've just been able to adapt to their environment. This area here looks like some type of a refuse center. And when you look at this, especially this one, this, I mean, this might be as much evidence as the art was. How, how could you possibly say, well, yeah, that's just what, what snow and ice does all by itself. Just beyond, uh, it's beyond me to fathom how this has been kept secret for so long. With these images, once again, I will give you the locations. And you can go find them for yourself. This program, Google Earth Pro, has been available, widely available for a long time. Anybody could have gone and found these. All of these locations that I found over the last year. I think it's just a, kind of a sad commentary that the media has been able to distract so many people with nonsense political nonsense, so that they don't do this. Everything always has to have some type of a political color or a flavor to it. This doesn't, in any way, shape, or form, have anything to do with, with that. And it's sad that this platform has become so uh, infested with that, so that even things that are right in front of our eyes, we don't see. And I guess I will leave that there. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that, if you sign up for an entire year and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the land site off-world, sir?